I've been meaning to do this for a long time, let me tell you. So we're here at a little park that me and my dad used to hang out at. I'm in South Florida. It is November 10th. Yeah. I actually used to hang out over there, but there's someone over there, so I don't want to bother him. That's all right. That's where me and my dad used to used to have picnics and such. Came here after he got divorced from my mom. Yeah, it's been about two months coming. I wanted to do this to kind of commemorate the 50th anniversary of his death, as, as morbid as that may sound. But we'll get stung by a bee here. This is like eight million flowers. Probably bees all over this place. So I'll instead go where I used to go afterwards, or not really, but the place that I always go just to hang out after he died. This little stage here is, is pretty cool right here. Check this out. That is awesome. Imagine like a band playing here. They're pretty sweet. Let me tell you. Yeah. They got this lake here. Oh. Yeah. It's funny because back when, uh, if you come here when the sun's setting, because the sun's up right here right now, so check that out. So if it comes, it, it, it'll set like right here and it just like creates like the biggest reflection ever. It's awesome. Yeah. It's good stuff. And me and uh me and my buddies, whoever that whoever hung out with me and my dad at the time. Whenever we had picnics, we would always compare it to uh the Phantom Forest. Final Fantasy VI. So I uh, thought that was pretty cool. Man, I really want to go over to that other pavilion, but there's a guy working there. I don't want to bother him. That kind of sucks. That's unfortunate. Oh well, big deal. It is one in the afternoon, so I guess that was the most opportune time for them to do it. Yeah. Allergic to bee stings, by the way. <laughs> Works its way in my bloodstream, gets infected within minutes. Hard for me to pull the stinger out. <sighs> so here's a little bench here. Nice. Just have a uh, where I could set my camera down. There's something that. Whoa. Alright. I thought that was a. I thought that was a bee, but apparently not. Yeah. Set that right down here, I guess. I don't know. It's one of the things I'm meaning to do. Is write a letter to my dad. I think I'm gonna do that right now. And uh, you're gonna witness it on camera. Most of it, anyways. I don't know. <sighs> Who knows? Let's see. That's steel. Paper off a stental pad from my grandma's desk because my grandmother's place is right next to here, so yeah, yeah. I don't know. I forgot to bring my notebook, that's all right, I suppose. All right, I don't know how this is gonna work with all the wind, but whatever. All right, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and move my camera here. Let's see. Does it work that way? Let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right. My dear, what, my dar? Yeah, there you go, my dar. That's the way. My dear father. You know, there's a lot of things I wanted to say to him before he died. I guess I'll just tell him what I did right now. Just
Sorry I'm not talking and I'm uh, just concentrating on the writing. Also met also uh, saw a pretty close friend of mine. Pretty close pretty close uh, girl buddy of mine who uh I really like, but uh, you know, I live too far away to go out with her, so yeah. That's what I'm going to tell him right now. Because she used to be, like, really, like, you know, nice Christian girl. Always went to church. Wanted to wait until marriage to have sex. And then she went to college, and yeah, about that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. God, that scares the hell out of me every time I hear a buzzing. Stupid wind, man. You know what? I'm going to put my water on there. There we go. But yeah, despite her, you know, discovering her wild side, I mean, that girl is perhaps even more, like, perhaps even more caring and supportive and, you know, just reassuring. Just a better friend than I've ever, than she's ever been. So, you know, it's good that someone can change like that, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, you know, she was like, Oh, you know, I'm all promiscuous now, so, you know, to hell with you, because you're not cool enough to, you know, hang around me. Like, she's just like, all right, you know, I've discovered some stuff, and, you know, just makes, you know, just opened her mind up, which is nice, so, yeah. So back after my dad died, I guess like just this just a couple of years, uh, just like two something years ago, I was living with my, be with my best friend, just a childhood friend of mine, and now I don't hang out with him at all. I haven't hung out with him in almost three years, and that's you know that's just because I just grew apart from him, and you know just go let my dad know about that. I suppose I don't know. I mean, there's a, what the hell? Yeah, there's a lot of things I wanted to say to my dad before he died that uh, that I didn't get to say to him. And uh, that's why I'm writing him this letter because you know I don't know just to get just to get it off my chest before I move back before I go back up to Tallahassee. You know I don't know because this place is really symbolic of uh, just all the talks that me and my dad had about you know about. My future, mostly about my future plans, really, because he was just obsessed with my future. I mean, he he was just obsessed with you know me going to college and everything like that. And for a while, I thought I was just you know pandering to his to uh, his uh to his desires by going to school, going to college, and you know for my first few years, you know before I took you know before he died, like I really. That was the only reason why I went to college. Now, you know, now I'm going there just for me on my own terms. It's, it's a lot harder though because I'm paying for it by myself. He's not supporting me anymore, so. You know, it's tougher, but, I mean. It's not like he had bad intentions. He just. Uh,
he was just so one-sided in his judgments and in his um, in his lifestyle. He was just really just straight. Like he was about as straight edge as you could get without being straight edge. I mean, he didn't really do anything like. And what I mean now, I mean like he never drank. He never. Uh, smoked cigarettes or sm or smoked pot, and he never like you know did anything. Never did. I mean, he. I mean, me and him drank. I mean, I, I had my first drink with him. And that was cool. I mean, my first legal drink with him, and that was awesome. But like, you know, he he didn't uh, really think outside the box. He didn't really have an open mind as much as I wanted him to. And uh, I don't know. That's what. That's what I'm gonna write in this letter. Um, so yeah. I don't know, um, but I guess the point of this video is just, you know, to any of my viewers who have lost a parent, you know, and I know what you're going through, and, um, you know, I deal with it as early as possible, don't be like me, and, you know, deny it for so long, or else you'll be doing this, you'll be doing this shit, I mean, I mean, a bit emotionally raw. Past couple of months because I'm just now starting to deal with all the uh, stuff that's happened to me. Because now I'm, I'm pretty much completely alone. I have no roommates. I live alone. No cat. Uh, and my mom and grandma, they're, they're the only family, they're the only American family that I have. Are my mother and grandmother. So, you know, I don't know. I feel like I've lost a lot. Uh, and yeah, just don't know. I mean, because like, all right, because this girl I'm talking about, this woman I'm, top, I'm talking about is, you know, I care for her so deeply that every time I drive back up, you know, I'm almost in tears because I, I, I miss her, like, right after seeing her, and, you know, it's only because I don't have anything, I don't have anybody in my life, you know, except my friends, except her, and a couple other friends who have s stuck with me and not judged me in the last five years, so, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So and I guess you know I don't know I guess uh it's like almost like a getting like a really gr uh, really grim getting to know video almost about what I've been dealing with and why sometimes I don't update my videos sometimes I don't update my playlists because you know sometimes it's hard for me just to get up because I feel just so weighed down by everything by having no support by having you know, a really crappy job that doesn't pay much and no real plans after finishing school because I'm comfortable where I'm at right now. I'm comfortable with the place I'm living at right now and I don't want to leave because I found something there. I found a good community that's never going to go away. That's, you know, the Florida State Bowling Team. Like, it's not going to go away. I'm always going to be able to go to my bowling alley and have fun because there's someone from the team who's going to be there, someone who I can practice with all the time. But I don't know, I'm going on a, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to rattle on, I'm starting to really just run my mouth, so that's about it, um, and yeah, uh, I'll just expect some more videos from me soon, and uh, I'm going to get to writing this letter. Peace.